Hello everybody! Welcome back to your manga's hobby time. Uh, today I want to show you some things. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is this! Uh, this is my painted Archon. Excuse the shitty photography. I don't know how to photograph well. Um, this is my uh, Archon I painted. And personally, I don't like him. Uh, the paint job is okay. It definitely needs some work. But that's not the reason why I don't like him. The reason why I don't like him... He's not really my Archon. He doesn't have any of the bits that I wanted to have. I just painted him and built him up completely stock standard. And to me, that's where I kind of I, I screwed up. Uh, as I've been doing this hobby for the past two years, one of the things I've noticed is I love the hobby aspect, but I never really do anything with it. I will build the models, I'll buy the models, and I'll maybe put models on different bases, I'll add like different bits from like one kit or two, but I've never really kit bashed. I want to learn how to do that, and to do that, I'm going to turn my regular old Archon into a piratey Archon, like a pirate lord, king kind of Archon thing, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop off his head and replace it with this head. More specifically, I'm going to replace it with some of the parts from this model. This is Voltronos, the deep pirate, the deep king, the Ideneth Deepkin, like... It's a model from the Ideneth Deepkin set, which is from Age of Sigma. I love it. I'm going to take off his head, specifically the head with the eye patch, as you can see here. I'm going to put it on my Archon. I'm probably going to, like, take off a few of the headdress pieces, and I'm going to put it on the back of my Archon as well. I'm going to take off his pistol arm. I'm going to replace it with a new weapon. Uh, but regardless of all that, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint up Age of Sigma models. I really want to paint up Voltronos, but not Voltronos. He's like, I think he is called a... Achelion King. Now, I want to paint up that as its own thing, because I think they're really cool. Um, and... Yeah, regardless of all that, like, talking about different models and stuff I want to paint is for later. Do you see his, uh, do you see my Archon's little goofy pose? He's got the sword over one, uh, one side of his body, and he's holding the pistol in the other. I want to change that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a new Archon. I'm going to cut off the, I'm basically going to, like, rearrange how the arms look. I'm going to replace the pistol with a weapon from a thing called the Ma the Thrall Master, and he carries like a spear, or a trident, or a bident, I believe it's called, which is two prongs on it. I'm going to replace his spear, uh, no, his pistol, my Archon's pistol, with the bident. I think that would look really cool, and just a little bit more piratey. As well as, like, add some of, like, the eel from his base around the model to make him look a bit more pirate-like, you know, as he's, like, tamed a pirate... Uh, a dangerous eel in uh, the the gladiatorly arenas or whatever um, but regarding all of that the things that I loved about the Archon model base the skin cloak is gorgeous I love this skin cloak it feels proper Drukhari you know just wielding bits of, of human skin into a, a beautifully uh, created uh, cape it's quite quite lovely and the spikes as well are quite fun um, I want to take him off of the rocks. The Archon is on a base of rocks. I don't like that. I want to put him on, like, a partial part of, like, a turret from a Ravager. I have a Ravager, as you can see here. Um, I want to take him off of the rocks. I want to put him on the Ravager and have, like, a few skulls littered about the place. It is on a rather small base, so I am going to make the base a little bigger potentially i don't know i don't know if i'm even going to run him in games but regardless that's what i'm going to do with my icon uh, my archon now now that's out of the way we have my other model that i've just finished up uh getting all the base coats done drizar this is my drizar uh he's got gorgeous detail i love this model so much i love the detail work on him He's got nice horns. I'm loving the little, like, the... What do they call it? The soul gem pattern. Um, and the thing that I did with, differently about Drizar and my Archon that I have not done is I did not paint him with contrast paints whatsoever. I have used no contrast... Actually, no, that's a lie. I've used two contrast paints, but everything else has been pure acrylic paint. 
So I used purple and dark wraith and uh, bone white and stuff like that for his weird uh, armor and like the weird arches and shit. I used I used paints for those. I am basically trying to get out of my comfort zone with painting because I find that I enjoy painting more than I enjoy the game. I want to paint more, but I also want to paint for longer. And using a contrast paint takes less time, and it can look a little bit more gritty, less fine. It can look very like gritted up and a bit dirty at times, which is not bad. I don't mind the dirt, but it can be a little scuffed. Uh, regarding that, I needed more paints after painting him up. I'm like, oh no, I've ran out of paints. More specifically, copper and gold, but bar that, he is close to being finished. Like I said with the Archon, I want to add, like, maybe some old Ravager bits just to make him feel a little bit more connected in this army. Uh, but regardless of all that, we have... Another model. Here is my succubus. It's a Daughter of Cain model. It's from the it's uh, from the High Tricks. It's from the High Gladiatrix set, which is just one model, but it was really cool. Uh, I have no idea how I'm going to go about painting him. Or her, I should say. I want to incorporate a spiral design going around the whip. That's the one thing I know I want to do, and I want to have like a like a Space Marine body or maybe a uh, more raider parts on the base of the body, uh, or on the base of the model. Uh, but regardless, I want to just, I want the three HQs to sort of fit in one more cohesively. Uh, but regardless of all that, I have a new thing I made. It's, uh, well, I say a new thing. I ordered something new. This, it's my newest model project. Uh, it is a Melusi Iron Scale. Uh, it's a really cool model. I haven't got it yet, so I don't know what it looks like. <gasps> oh, excuse me, hiccup. How it looks uh, in person. But the reason why I picked it is because it's a giant snake, and I think snake ladies are sick. Uh, it's Greek mythologically inspired, which I love Greek mythology. And she just looks like a, she looks like a gorgon, you know? And I, I love that. It's so fucking cool. Um, and that's all there really is to it, you know? So, yeah, uh, like and subscribe, and if you want to see more, uh, please like, comment down below ideas you have for more model kit bashes and stuff. I'd love to see them. Uh, like I said before, I'll re reiterate it again. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, see y'all later. Bye!